So we had previously planned to go to a waterfall that was on the way home after seeing the Devil's Pulpit. Um, but by a, a stroke of luck, I had opened Instagram and saw something called Lennox Castle. And I looked it up to add it to my list. Um, and we were like 10 minutes away from it. So we decided to go. And it's a bit hard to find. Um, you have to park in a housing estate and then take this kind of unmarked trail. So we're following some instructions I found on TripAdvisor. Um, and we'll see how it goes. This is like an old abandoned castle um, that used to be a mental hospital. So it looks pretty impressive just to kind of have a little wander around. So yeah, let's go see if we can find it. So this is meant to be less than like a mile walk. Um, it's paved, kind of paved now. Um, so yeah, we'll see how long it takes to get there. Bit of an uphill walk. Nice views though. I imagine we're nearly there. I feel like, oh, I think I see something actually. Oh, here we go. Oops, someone's been up here with a horse. Wow. because it's one of those things like unless you knew it was here you wouldn't really like you'd be kind of surprised to stumble upon this I think it's a decent neck yeah. is that a guard tower or something? oh yeah oh. maybe a guard tower but an outhouse something yeah it's quite cool I definitely want to get the drone up there's some stairs over there. Looks like a football field or something over there. Wow. That is... There is a hole in the fence here. But we're gonna try and do a little loop around and see... What... It's like over there. What are you... Oh wow. Let me to leave you with the drone. Yeah, let me, let's do a loop first though, because there's people over there. Lennox Castle is located in Scotland, about 12 miles north of Glasgow. Although originally it was built around 1840 as a castle, its claim to fame is actually the hosting of Lennox Castle Hospital, which is known as Scotland's largest institution for people with learning disabilities. The castle was purchased in 1927 by the Glasgow Corporation and opened as a hospital, if it can even be called that, in 1936. The castle itself is big, but it's not massive, and it's certainly way too small for 1,200 live-in patients plus live-in staff, and up to 1,600 patients at some points. The hospital was underfunded and appears to be the stuff of nightmares. Between the 40s and the 60s, there was also a maternity unit in Lennox Castle. Now, in 2002, the hospital closed, and in 2008, a fire brought most of it down. Today, the grounds that surround it have been converted into Celtic FC's training grounds, and it's surrounded by a forest and housing estates. You can see this whole thing is just absolutely crumbling. I think when you look at other Scottish castles that have been abandoned, they, they're, they're clearly abandoned, but this is just in disrepair to, to an impressive extent. Jack found this kind of hole in the ground, and there's a ladder that goes down here, and there's just a bunch of water in the bottom, but I have no idea what that little thing could be because it's got kind of a weird cover. So if you've got any ideas, leave them below. There's me <laughs> taking some pictures. People were actually climbing up this. Um, yeah, you can see them right there actually, but the whole thing is just like one wrong step away from falling down and especially with it getting dark, I am not keen to poke around in here after sunset. You can tell the kids do though. I mean, there's graffiti everywhere and trash and like four loco and dragon soup cans. <laughs> it is crazy to think that this held like up to 1600 people at some points. It's just, it's clearly, it's big, but I wouldn't even consider it Downton Abbey big. Especially when you think about the space and you, there's, you know, a kitchen probably and bathroom facilities. So like not even actual living spaces. 
It is quite a sight though. I bet it was pretty majestic in its day, although super intimidating coming up to it. If it was still kind of surrounded by forests, probably more forests now or back then than there are now just because of all the housing estates and the the rugby fields or different sports fields around now. I was totally, Jack tried to get me to go in. I was not having it. <laughs> Maybe if I had really strong lighting, I'd take a few more steps in, but not today. It's crazy to think that it didn't close all that long ago as well, like 2002. I think it's 20 years ago, but that still doesn't seem that long ago for the things that were happening there. Just kids being kids. Artistic. Well guys, that's it for Devil's Pulpit and Lennox Castle. Thanks for exploring with us and make sure to like and subscribe for the next of our Scotland adventures. See you soon.